I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Corey Huang, the CEO of Stably. Corey, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me, Ashton. You're very welcome. Let's kick it off with a discussion on Stably and the Stable USD coin. First of all, what is Stably and why is it an important asset in the blockchain industry? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Stably is a startup. We're backed by Venture Capital. We're from Seattle. Uh, our team is made up of former Amazon and Microsoft engineers. And we built what's called a stable coin, a US dollar backed stable coin. And what that means is essentially we're building the 21st century version of what a check or a money order or a cashier check would be. Uh, and we're building it using blockchain technology as well as you know cryptocurrency technology. Uh, we issue a token on a blockchain to represent a claim to a dollar, one-to-one, uh, that, that's sitting in our reserve at a uh, regulated financial institution. So people can deposit a dollar into the trust account and we can issue them a stable coin in return, or they can bring a stable coin to us and we can return the uh, dollar, the reserve back to them. And this is useful because you know it's, it acts very similarly to... Uh, money orders to check cashier checks which you know there are a lot of use cases around but the fact that uh the stable coin is built on a blockchain means that it could be transferred almost anywhere in the world the system is borderless so its application for international or global remittance and payments is significantly uh, uh higher than traditional methods mm -hmm. interesting so Stably is a regulated and transparent stablecoin, you say. Now, what are the current problems in the industry that Stably is specifically solving? Yeah, the largest problem that we have in the industry right now is, uh, obviously, we have Tether, which is a dollar-backed stablecoin that is issued by an unregulated entity. And they're actually not very transparent at all about the reserve uh, backing up their, uh, their stablecoin. So I think for every tether out there, they have publicly admitted that there might only be 70 or 75% of reserve to back it up. So obviously, uh, you know, tether is still the largest one around, but we think there's a lot of risk built into it. And it's only a matter of time before uh, that stable coin collapse. And of course, when it does collapse, it will uh, leave a lot of void in the space that a lot of other players like myself could come in to uh, capture market share worth. Interesting. And many people have heard of Tether, but there are also a lot of other companies and other exchanges that are bringing on other stable coins. Uh, are you considered to be competing with these other stable coins? And what is the difference between Stably and these other coins besides Tether? Absolutely. So uh, Stably is a fiat backed stable coin. We're backed by US dollar. So we're not backed by cryptocurrency or gold or uh, even some stable coins out there are unbacked. Uh, they're regulated by smart contract, which has um, no physical dollar backing. So the fact that we actually have a dollar in the reserve uh, makes us uh, organic and uh, easy for people to use. And we conduct regular attestation every month for our reserve so that, you know, they, we bring in a CPA firm to confirm that there is money in the account versus how many tokens we have printed in circulation. And uh, we also broadcast the uh, balance of our reserve via the, uh, uh, the partners API who we work with. And uh, that is broadcasted on our website 24 seven for anyone to see. So you can always verify how much money we have versus how many tokens there are. Uh, how we're different from other fiat backed stable coins like um, for example, TrueUSD or USDC or Paxos is we don't charge issue and rede redemption fees uh, to issue a redeemed stable coin. We waive all wire fees for clients who are redeeming the stable coin for US dollar. Uh, and we're also expanding our stable coin onto other blockchain protocol. Most recently we expanded onto Binance chain and um, we are launching it on Binance Dex next week as well, which is a decentralized exchange. Uh, upon that happening, we will officially become the fastest major stable coin in the world with uh, about three to 4,000 uh, TPS. Wow, very impressive, Corey, congratulations. Thank you. Now, how much time was put into the development of Stably uh, and when was it first released into the market? 
Yeah, uh, we raised seed funding in April of 2018, and it took us about eight months to build the product. So we coded the smart contract. We got it audited by a smart contract security firm. Uh, we also partner with uh, a regulated financial institution in the United States to help us carry out this business model compliantly. And that institution is called Prime Trust. They're a Nevada-based uh, trust company that is regulated uh, as a uh, administrator and issuer for our stablecoin system, um, and uh, toward the uh, end of November, uh, uh, the end of uh, 2018, we listed our stablecoin for the first time ever on Bittrex, which is a regulated U.S. Uh, crypto exchange, which is where uh, very well known uh, across the world. Uh, within two months of that, we listed it on Binance, which is the world's uh, largest cryptocurrency exchange. Period. Uh, we uh, became the fifth. And so far, final stable coins be added to that uh, exchange. Very interesting. And now, is the development done, or are you further developing advancements and enhancements to Stably? And do you guys have a development team that's doing that right now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, development never stops. Uh, we think the space is continue is going to continue to evolve, and there are many different level of evolutions that we're going to see in the next uh, several years. Uh, we're scaling out our development team into uh, other markets like India and Vietnam, where developer costs a little bit uh, cheaper. Uh, we compared to all the major stablecoin projects, we actually raised 80, 90 percent less funding than they have. And we managed to pull up our own ground pretty well. So it's kind of like a David and Goliath situation we got going on. Uh, my vision or our vision is there will be many generations of stablecoin. And each generation is going to have improvements over previous generations. Right now, we are in the first generation of stablecoin. And we have very what I call vanilla stablecoin. It's backed by fiat, one-to-one. -one. It has transparency. Uh, it's audited. It has liquidity. And it has stability, right? So these are the very basic building blocks that any uh, good stablecoin would need to have. And I'm just speaking mainly about fiat-backed stablecoin here. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, Generation 2 stablecoins will come out once uh, companies and corporations like Walmart or Costco or Amazon or uh, even Shell or Chevron or even car companies like Nissan or Toyota finally realize that you know they could themselves create their own stablecoin and add additional benefits and utility from their ecosystem on the stablecoin. Imagine going to Shell or Chevron and, uh, you know, being able to pay Shell and Chevron in stablecoin, in Shell stablecoin, right? Mm -hmm. Now, why would Chevron want or Shell want to do this, right? Well, when you pay them with a stablecoin and rely on the blockchain instead of Visa or MasterCard, Shell or Chevron doesn't have to pay Visa or MasterCard 4 to 5% per transaction. On top of that, now that they're uh, uh, having, a, now that they have a stablecoin, they're actually earning interest income from the fiat reserve that is backing up the stable coin. So you're going from paying money to now earning money. Now think about the potential of Shell uh, giving some of that saving back to the customer, right? Or some of that earning back to the customer in the form of discount, bonus, rewards, whatever, right? So I think that one day, you know, these generation two stable coins will have hundreds, if not even thousands of them all over the world. From Walmart to Costco to Amazon to Shell to Chevron, you name it, right? Um, and they will all have their unique utilities and benefit that is, uh, you know, contained within their ecosystem. Uh, which brings, you know, which bring us to, I think, kind of looking a little bit ahead here, but Generation 3 stablecoins uh, is where we have consolidation of all these different utility stable coins, right? Uh, and people are going to start combining them into basket. So we'll have a basket stable coin of Amazon, of Costco, of Walmart, the e-commerce the e or the retail stable coin basket that you can use at any of these retailer in that basket, right? And you'll still uh, benefit from that utility. Um, so basically it'll allow you to spend your Amazon coin at Costco and uh, It'll make it work essentially. Very interesting. The future sounds very promising. 
Now, when you first built Stably, did you first see it as how most people see stablecoins right now as sort of a hedge to the Bitcoin price? You know, when Bitcoin's going down, people don't want to move into American dollars, so they move into a stablecoin. And that seems to be one of the primary uses. Was that the original goal of Stably or are you envisioning this full, you know, retail experience as you're speaking of? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, originally, it was mainly just for trading. So how I got into stablecoin in the first place was I used to uh, trade uh, crypto very actively in 2017. Uh, and I was doing it with trading algorithms. So at some point, you know, I had tens of thousands of tether that I did it. I didn't want to hold because it was very uh, not very not non-transparent, very shady. And there's a lot of issues, a lot of bad press coming out. So I wanted to find a different stablecoin to park my money in. So I was a consumer. I was a consumer trying to find a reliable option for me that I can trust. And I couldn't find anything. And so you, you know, your own. here I am trying to park 50, 60, 70 grand into something and I couldn't find it. And that was just me. Can you imagine how many other people out there in the world were in the same situation? So, so within a week, I was actually driving. And I drove past a casino and on the casino billboards, I saw pictures of casino chips. And right when I saw that, it, it's just the light bulb went up in my head and here I am. <laughs> That's a great story, Corey. Now, you yeah. mentioned a little bit ago that you guys had raised quite a bit less than some of the other stablecoin projects. Now, how do you plan yes. to sustain the business? Is there a business model or some kind of revenue generation for Stably? How do you foresee you know, business ongoing? Absolutely. Um, it has been proven in the stablecoin sector over the past 12 months that just because you have a lot of money and a lot of resources and capital doesn't mean you can actually uh, go to market successfully. And I'm not going to name any names here, but uh, there is one major stablecoin out there that has seen a significant decline in market cap recently um, because they executed incorrectly. Uh, uh, on their business development, marketing, as well as certain promotions that, that they gave out. It didn't really work out for them. And, um, you know, we at Stably, we burn less than $80,000 a month in total expenses as a startup. So by staying very lean, very efficient, very nimble, and, you know, just making, not making the same mistakes that some of these larger players have already made, uh, I think it will place us ahead of the pack in the long run if we are able to continue to keep this up. This is a very David Goliath uh, situation. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. And now, what would you say is one of the biggest challenges as you continue to grow for the rest of this year? Is it that business development and marketing or what other challenges do you foresee growing? Absolutely. We believe it is uh, a combination of both uh, technological advancement as well as uh, business development. So in terms of technology, is it is not as important as uh, business development for us right now, but we do want to stay ahead of the pack in terms of uh, what kind of technology we're able to put out and what kind of upgrades, you know, how can we evolve our stable coin essentially? So I have this vision of generation two, generation three stable coins. So how do we get there? How do we build it? Right. Um, but we don't want to build it right now when no one's using it. Right. So we want to kind of slowly scale that up uh, over time. Uh, most importantly for us right now is to focus on business development to get people to start using our stable coin for remittance, for payments, for whatever that they want to use. The benefits is very straightforward. You save four to five percentage points per transaction. Uh, the transaction could be done almost instantly in a few minutes, could be sent globally without any borders. And the people who receive them would have relatively good liquidity because, you know, our Stablecoin is listed on Binance, we're listing it on more exchanges, we're integrating with more uh, over-the-counter uh, and broker desk uh, and more partners all over the world. So as time go on, we believe that uh, our uh, liquidity as well as adoption and growth will continue to rise. Um, and it's a very large market. Uh, you know, I think uh, what mutual mutual funds for money market securities is a $3 trillion dollar industry uh, you look at cash banknotes checking deposit that's 30 trillion dollar so you know it's, it's a large industry uh and there's a lot of uh, potential growth here definitely 
Now, how can viewers learn more about Stably or get involved with the project? Yeah, you can definitely uh, go to our website, www.stably.io, or you can also uh, do a simple Google search about Stably, S-T-A-B-A-L-Y, and uh, you can find a lot of our uh, PR releases or news article that has been, uh, that has came out about us. And um, I'm always available to uh, be reach out in person. I try to be the only stablecoin CEO that's you know, open to uh, public communication uh, 24-7. So if you want to reach out to me for any comments or questions, uh, more than welcome to do so. My email address is Corey at Stably.io. Amazing. <laughs> Corey Huang, CEO of Stably. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for your time and all the best of luck with Stably. Thank you, Ashton. Thanks for having me.